Hey guys, welcome to my channel. This video is about smoking. You must have heard about tobacco causing lung cancer so many times. Well, it does, but that is not the only effect it has on the body. Tobacco smoking is the leading cause of preventable mortality in the world. So, today I am going to tell you about the lesser known effects of tobacco smoking. Did you know that smoking can cause as many as 16 types of cancer? Even if you forget about cancer, smoking can still make you very very sick. Drop a like on this video and subscribe to my channel and let's move forward. On number 1 we have the respiratory system. If we leave lung cancer aside, smoking is still hugely implicated in numerous respiratory diseases. You can see how the lung in this graphic has become black from pink. This actually happens in smokers. Smoking is one of the topmost risk factors for a set of diseases called COPD, which means chronic obstructive pulmonary diseases. It includes diseases like chronic bronchitis, emphysema and small airway diseases. The lung compliance and respiratory passage openings are all compromised due to smoking and functioning of the lung deteriorates. Talking about the oral hygiene, smoking causes bad breath, staining and loosening of teeth, loss of taste and smell and increases risk of oral cancer. However, most of these changes are reversible by quitting before permanent damage sets in. Also, I would like to mention that Compromised pulmonary function and reduced immunity would definitely make a smoker more vulnerable to the coronavirus. So it's better to quit. Number 2. The Cardiovascular System Smoking is proven by several studies to be highly detrimental to cardiovascular health. Approximately 1 in every 10 deaths due to cardiovascular diseases are attributed to smoking. The most significant and fatal among those is coronary heart disease and myocardial infarction or to put it simply a heart attack. Innumerable studies have shown a significant association between smoking, atherosclerosis and coronary heart disease. It is both due to a direct effect and indirectly due to derangement of lipid and sugar metabolism due to smoking. Due to accelerated atherosclerosis, risk of cerebrovascular accident or stroke is also very high in smokers. Smokers are more vulnerable to vascular diseases like aortic aneurysms and peripheral artery diseases like Burgess disease. But fortunately, these changes are also reversible. If a smoker quits smoking, then he or she can almost free himself or herself from these risks in a few years. On number 3, we have the gastrointestinal system. The effects of smoking on the digestive system are too many to cover in a single page. I will try to mention the most significant ones. Smoking increases the risk for esophageal cancer and gastrointestinal reflux disease which causes heartburn. It predisposes the body to pectic ulcer formation in the stomach or duodenum which is a very painful and dangerous condition. Tobacco, especially when combined with alcohol, damages the liver, predisposing to liver diseases and hampers detoxification in the body. It increases the risk for gallstones as well. Smoking is a risk factor for pancreatic cancer. In the colon, it can lead to Crohn's disease and colorectal cancer. Moving on to number 4, there is the nervous system and immunity. Although smoking does not have much of a direct effect on the nervous system, it does make a person physically and psychologically dependent on it. Which means, upon quitting, a person can experience withdrawal symptoms with anxiety and depression being two of them. Smoking hampers the balance of the body's immune system, thereby making it vulnerable to diseases. It also leads to autoimmune diseases like rheumatoid arthritis where body's own antibodies damages its joints and other organs. Last but not the least, the reproductive system. In males, smoking can lead to impotence, azuspermia and other problems which ultimately leads to infertility. 
In females, smoking increases the risk of early menopause. In pregnancy, miscarriages, antepartum hemorrhage and congenital defects in babies are more common in smokers. Well, to wrap it up, quit smoking at the earliest if you want to live a happy and healthy life. I will make a video about how to quit smoking very soon. Hope you guys like this video, drop a like, share the video and subscribe to my channel and stay tuned.